let's bring it back a little bit. So sure. Bahamas yeah. to mm-hmm. what is it? Pennsylvania? No, uh, it was Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. My bad. Mm-hmm. Um, at fourteen. Yeah. So what does that what does that do to you as a kid? So it's uh, it's um, a total shift. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a total different world. So I mean, I'm used to this. I didn't really understand how cushy a life I had and wonderful life. So I, I tell people when we camp, we would just dive in the canal that was behind our house and just pick up the lobster and that kind of stuff. And we'd use that when we're camping out. I get yeah. over here, I'm dealing with the snow up in the mountains. <laughs> I'm dealing, you know, and the adjustment. And it's just, you know, it's one of those things. But it wasn't like I was caught off guard. I knew I was going mm. as a kid off to boarding school. And I yeah. knew it would be when I was going to high school, so 14. So, you know, it was just like the next stage in life. Um, it was a big transition. But, you know, there were kids there coming from all over the world. They're dealing with the same thing. So it really probably helped. At what point mm-hmm. At what point in that transition did you realize that the person that you came in as, you had mm-hmm. to leave behind? Well, you know, my biggest thing when I went there, I wasn't concerned about myself as much, but it was my family. I was wondering mm-hmm. how my family was going to cope without me. This is how big my little ego was Interesting. at that time. You know, I was concerned more about them. So I'm the eldest of four kids, mm. and I was more worried about them than I was me. Okay. So, and, you know, mm-hmm. and this is at 14. Yeah. That, and and yeah. are you, it, at 14, and you have mm-hmm. this this consideration, it, is, is it at that moment you're like, okay, I, may, I, might, have a, I might have a big ego thing going yeah. on? Like, when, when, when did that thought occur so to you? So for me, it was, it was kind of then that I realized the world didn't revolve around me. Interesting. It was that kind of thing. It was like a wake-up call. Right. Um, in terms that there is more that I'm supposed to be contributing mm-hmm. and helping and making an impact mm-hmm. more than everything being revolved. Because as a kid, everything, you know, the parents provided everything, everything was there. Right. And then it really became, you know, that level of independence and finding out who I actually am. Yes. So where introspection really started. Self-reflection. Um, self-reflection. Yeah. I had a lot more quiet time than I ever had. With all of my other siblings around and family, and we got a lot is... of family in the bombs. I mean, we got you know. Oh, of just course, like, yeah. My, well, my point is, it was really I didn't have the quiet moments in my life that I got to experience. Right. 